Hey everyone, welcome to the very first episode on my series of this FormBot Boron Trident Kit. So we're going to actually be unboxing this here in the first episode. This just showed up about 10 minutes ago. All I did was I cut off the uh, cardboard flaps here and we're going to unbox this together. So uh, I ordered this uh, not too long ago actually. Uh, the kit was around... Uh, $1,290 Canadian. Um, that's shipped to my door. This is the 250 by 250 millimeter kit. Again, Voron Trident. And this is the, the FormBot brand one. So um, we're going to actually be unboxing it, take a look at some of the components, things like that. Next episode is going to be actually assembling the frame. So let's go through here and see what we find. So Right off the bat here, kind of interesting, there's a whole bunch of printer paper in the top. I'm assuming this is for puncture protection, which is kind of interesting. There's a lot of, of printer paper here, like stacks and stacks of this. Um, it's all plain. So that's pretty interesting. Um, there's not many of these FormBot kits on YouTube, so I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, yeah. A lot of printer paper, but, you know, it's free printer paper, I guess, and uh, definitely puncture protection for the top here. So let's take a first foam piece off here. So these are the acrylic panels. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing crazy there. Looks like some black ones here, all cut, nice and protected here. That's nice, perfect. All the panels is really nice. So I'll set those aside. Okay, awesome. So, standard uh, 110 power cable there. Okay, it looks like some actual uh, connectors here. So, there's my um, thermal fuse. Forty watt heater for my hot end. This is some uh, cable sleeve, some like self-closing cable sleeve. Here is the pre-crimped wiring harness. So this FormBot kit does come with uh, its own wiring harness, which is awesome. I really hate doing wiring and I definitely hate crimping these. So that's really handy to have this. It's a nice addition. Definitely uh, worth some of the money paid. Some cable chains. Um, these are the good cable chains. You can see you can open these. So you definitely want to make sure you have cable chains that you can open. This is very important to getting your cables through. Otherwise, it's kind of a big pain. So really, really nice to see there. This is uh, a filter here for the carbon filter or whatever you call it for the back. Uh, definitely be putting that on the printer. I mean, it's included. Why not? <clears throat> really, really good size bag here of hardware. Looks to be nice here. Um, we've got roll-in nuts as well. That's pretty awesome. Looks to be really good hardware. It's supposed to be stainless steel. Awesome. We have uh, looks to be a genuine um, Omron here, uh, bed level probe, which I will be using in this printer. Some belts here. Um, Looks like this is a uh, genuine Gates belt. I can tell here too by like the reddish brown sides here is a good indication as well, but it does look like they actually have Gates. They do say Gates on them, so that's awesome. Little bag of zip ties here, which is great. So here we have some Megla fans for, I believe this is for the electronics under the skirt, uh, under the, the panel at the bottom of the printer. Um, really great. These are Sunon fans, really good quality Maglev. Looks like a Raspberry uh, Pi 3 here, Model B. It doesn't look like it's a B plus, which is fine. I'm not going to be using this. Um, I'm going to be using my laptop that has clipper on it. so. My laptop's going to be running my Delta printer as well as this printer with clippers. So this will probably go into another project, something like that. 
Uh, looks to be a Sandisk card here. I don't know if this is genuine or not, but uh, I'm sure it worked totally fine. Looks like we got some VHB tape here. Just looks like some generic VHB. Doesn't look like 3M or anything like that, but it looks like it will work fine. Looks like to be some sort of cloth or... I don't know if that's just to separate the tape, but um, nice to have there. Some foam tape too. Looks to be the power supply here. Yep. Looks like to be a mean well. Yeah, meanwhile, right on the circuit board there, so that's pretty nice. What's this here? Okay, so this is your LCD screen. Uh, Voron Trident kits do come with an LCD, so that's pretty cool. I usually don't use LCDs on my printer, so that'll be neat to have that and set it up and all that kind of thing. Here's my 2209 steppers. And it looks like here is my NTC 100K. This is a Beta 3950 thermistor for my hot end. This looks to be a mount for my SSR uh, for the DIN rail. Nice and uh, metal weighty. Probably a little bit of uh, thermal uh, capacity on here too, so to help cool the SSR if it needed it, but it shouldn't. Again, here's some uh, rubber feet. These are the exact same rubber feet that I'm using on my Simple Cube Ultra. So these are kind <clears> of <throat> recommended uh, from the Voron Bomb, so that looks good. This looks like some um, shielding tape here, like not shielding tape, but um, some tape to wrap your wires around so they don't get, uh, rub against anything or chafe or anything like that. So a uh, nice generous supply of that. That's pretty cool. This is uh, looks to be like the little tiny Meanwell um, power supply here for the Raspberry Pi, which again I won't need because I'm using a... Uh, Laptop. Some PTFE here. Looks like it's for the, some of this would be for the guide tube. And then uh, probably some other here so you can cut up in when building the printer for like the direct drive and all that kind of stuff. So that's nice. Uh, Big Tree Tech Octopus uh, control board here. I have not used one of these before, so this would be pretty cool to. Uh, use one of those that's gonna be awesome so single control board now with all Voron printers uh, this will control all three steppers um, really nice very excited to check that out and speaking of steppers here here are my NEMA steppers here for the bed so these are the Z uh, steppers these are just uh, the Okita motor brand here I mean, these are just Z steppers. These don't have to be fancy. I mean, this is uh, pretty straightforward. You can pretty much use any steppers. So it looks like these are actual integrated lead screw, which is what you want. So that's awesome. This printer is supposed to come with Moon's motors for the rest of the motors. So we'll check that out. Oh, looks like the linear rails here. So I believe this is FormBot's brand, I think. Um, so we will have to completely clean these and grease them up. These do not come with grease. All they come with is oil generally on them to prevent rust. So these do need to be cleaned and lubricated. So should be Looks like uh, MGN 12 here and the rest of those are MGN 9s. So the Voron Trident uses an MGN 12 for the X. I believe uh, they're actually just updating the 2.4 now to come with an MGN 12 as well. So a little bit more beefier, that's really nice to see. So that's awesome. Let's get into the next layer here. All right, perfect. So again, 110 volt heater here for the heated bed. This is uh, again for a 250 by 250 build plate. So I kind of went with the 250 because um, that's kind of like the best, um, I think, form factor. It's the perfect size for pretty much all prints. It's nice and compact. I didn't really need a huge printer. 
Um, my Simple Cube Ultra, when I rebuild it, um, like version two, it's going to be a 300 by 300 anyways. So this will be a nice workhorse 250 by 250 printer. So uh, looks like genuine 3M um, sticker there on the back. And uh, yeah, 110 heater again. I, I believe this is the Formbot brand. So. They even have it ready for the uh, fuse here, the thermal fuse to put in line there, so that's nice. And then here is the bed. So first we got the, of course, PEI build surface, again, 3M. And this is a double-sided PEI, which is awesome, textured and smooth. I generally really like the smooth side. At least I think it is. Maybe there's not actually uh, anything. I don't know. I, I can't see a um, like a PI surface on this. I don't actually know if this is PI or not. Um, this clearly is uh, coated PI, like a textured coating. So, yeah, this might be just one-sided. So, not, not definitely not a problem at all. It's not a very uh, rough texture. It's pretty fine. So, that's cool. And then we have our build plate. So pretty awesome here. They do put a declaration on these that tell you the precision and this is handwritten. Um, so this is as precise down to 0 0.1 millimeters, which is great. Uh, you can see the actual grind, the tooling marks here to make sure it's flat. Everything's nicely drilled here. Um, eight millimeters thick, really, really nice plate. So that's awesome. go down the next layer here okay perfect oh look at this so we have a spec sheet for the moons motors which is really awesome moons make really really good motors really cool to see a spec sheet for them here so um, this does lead to believe that they're most likely genuine so really awesome uh, usually don't get data sheets like this when I order stepper motors so this is really really cool you can see the moons motors here yeah, that looks really nice. This is uh, the extruder motor. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be, um, I'm gonna be building this with the afterburner tool head, I think. Uh, and then I'll, I'll convert it later on to stealth burner, of course. So this will work with the afterburner, but I do believe I'm gonna need a 10 tooth uh, smaller stepper for uh, stealth burner. Bearings, of course. SSR here. This does say Omron. I do believe this is a genuine Omron, most likely. 10 amp, which is pretty good. I believe the bed's only gonna pull five, maybe that. So that's definitely over spec, which is great. Looks like we got the BMG guts here, if I can get these out. So yeah, all your BMG guts here, again, for um, afterburner. We'll use those for stealth burner as well. A couple PCBs here for the uh, Z offset switch, I believe. And an end stop one there, so that's awesome. I did order my kit with the uh, Dragon High Flow. So this is the Dragon High Flow. You can tell that it's a high flow because it has that ceramic piece here on the bottom. The normal high flow doesn't have that. So yeah, that's really awesome. Doesn't come in the really good Fetus packaging, but um, they probably buy these in bulk and get a discount, which is uh, no big deal at all. So that's pretty awesome. What's over here? So these look to be like the fans for the tool head. Again, Sun on Maglev, really awesome. These should be nice and quiet and last a long time. That looks like just the uh, Power plug and switch there. Fuse, most likely a spare fuse. What else we got here? Uh, oh, okay, this is uh, if you wanna actually wire your printer to, um, like the Raspberry Pi, to an actual network cable. So you can put this in the back of your skirt and actually just plug in right from there, so that's cool. Looks like some uh, idlers there, some toothed idlers and pulleys. So these would actually be for the bed, I believe. 
I think these would be. Or no. These obviously are for the for the steppers. Um, these would be for the motion system somewhere. I'll have to check on that. I haven't you really looked into the uh, manual or anything building this, so it's going to be really fun. I'm very excited to build this printer. All right, so let's see what we have here. I'm just going to take out one of these extrusions. So these are supposed to be Misumi uh, extrusions. So these uh, would already be tapped and drilled, of course. Some of these, of course, don't need to be tapped, but some do. So it'll be nice when I do build this. We'll make sure that the T-nuts actually rotate in here properly. Um, all the surfaces look really, really well cut. So these do seem like they're Misumi, so that's really nice. Looks like they were cut and then anodized after. So that's really awesome. Yeah, so far... Um, the kit I don't see anything uh, that's not to spec uh, quality components moons motors that type of thing everything looks really great um, it'll be interesting to see when I build it so on that note um, I am actually getting Sparta 3d in Canada to print out my parts for me I ordered an essentials kit from them so because I don't have the ability to print ABS it just makes sense to save time and get them to print the parts out for me so they are going to be printing everything out in ABS unfortunately it's probably going to be two three weeks out they do have a waiting list I have put my order in which is a little over a week ago so I'm kind of going to be just assembling the frame and then setting this printer aside for the time being I'm going to have a lot to do on my simple cube ultra I basically have all the parts for it now as of this Sunday probably so it should be printing Sunday night Monday fingers crossed um so there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out on that which i'm really excited about so i will build the frame of course i can do that and then i'll put a video out on how the frame went together that type of thing i think this is going to be a really neat little uh, compact 250 printer and i'm very curious to compare it to my simple cube and uh yeah this formbot kit i've only seen two other videos on youtube about the formbot uh, trident kit so um, I'm very curious to see how this kit builds, how it prints, all that kind of stuff. Once I get my printed parts in, that's going to be really neat. So, again, thanks everyone for all the new subscribers. Look forward to this build. This will have a playlist. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, going to take my time with this build. It's probably going to be three or so weeks before we really get into it. Like I say, I'll do a video on the frame coming up here because I can't assemble that without the printed parts, I believe. And then um, we'll start going through each uh, stage of it, you know, flashing clipper onto the octopus, wiring, all that kind of stuff, and going through things like that. So, yeah, thanks again, everyone, and um, look out for more videos.